हेलो एवरी वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मेथड्स और टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिफोर दैट वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न वॉट इज कम्युनिकेशन सो द वर्ड कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स टू शेयर आर आइडियाज थाट्स इमोशंस थ्रू वर्बल एंड नॉन वर्बल मीन्स सो देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन फर्स्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन कम्युनिकेशन चैनल्स विच इंक्लूड्स वर्बल एंड नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन द वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट इज ओरल कम्युनिकेशन एंड सेकेंड इज रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन नाउ ओरल कम्युनिकेशन इज अगेन फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू फेस टू फेस कम्युनिकेशन एंड द डिस्टेंस कम्युनिकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कम्युनिकेट थ्रू मोबाइल फोन्स सो दैट इज डिस्टेंस कम्युनिकेशन another type is based on style and purpose so it has two types first is formal communication and second informal communication so we are going to focus on verbal and non verbal communication so first what is verbal communication verbal communication is that where we are using words to express ourselves for example in oral communication we communicate through words we use words to speak with other people and in written communication again we are writing something in written format we are using words to communicate our ideas so oral communication so we converse with other people or communicate with other people it can be direct conversation or telephonic conversation speeches presentations or discussions are all the forms of oral communication or we can say any spoken communication is considered as oral communication now next is return communication it involves any return message or return format draft that makes use of the return words so the writer must be careful regarding the correctness of the information writer should have a sound knowledge of the language regarding the spellings and grammatical words so what are the examples of written communication first is manual pamphlet office notes memos are there forms news bulletins proposals or agreement these are examples of written communication now we'll focus on non verbal communication we are not using the words to express ourselves rather than our non verbal part presented before the person speaks more so in uh, in the slide you will be able to see that action speaks louder than words what does it mean so in the next slide you will come to know how uh, it can be proved that 93% of the communication is done through body language it is the larger part actually so 93% we speak through our body language it can be a posture gesture then how we are uh, you know having eye contact with other people then um, how we are standing our silence also has some meaning then 7% we are communicating through the words only so next uh, is that what is non verbal communication it is the, it is done without words so that is non verbal communication so communication done through images symbols signs gestures facial expressions or posture so in the image you can see a smile can be answer to a question means if there is verbal communication and if you just smile that also has some meaning another image you can see that a frown it can also communicate and convey some meaning or message without words so body language plays big role in intuition as it gives us a message about other person that we can interpret at an intuitive level so body language plays 55% role in our communication spoken words only 7% they have their role and tone of voice it it uh, stands for 38% now this image also again reflects the same that larger part is played by our body language spoken words are having very less amount and tone of voice also has a large number to uh, in our communication now next point is gestures gestures means what how we are 
having our hand movements facial expressions or our bo- our other body parts how they are we are uh, you know moving from one place to a, another place or how our eye contact is so certain primary and short messages can be communicated through gestures only for example we say yes by just nodding our head no or go come silence please so just these uh, words can be expressed through our gestures next is posture so it refers to the way one sits stands or walks a speaker should stand and stand tall and at ease and uh, the feet should be together and hands on the sides a person should be uh, should sit with a straight back and chin held high he should walk with a medium strides and straight and head held high at a right angle to the shoulder so the body movement the position of the hands and legs and other body parts reflect an individual's personality now here in this picture you can be uh, you will be able to see how a posture needs to be so the first picture in this slide is like that person is the picture shows that the person is not uh, confident enough in the second picture we can gaze that person is over confident and in the third picture where a person is sitting properly this is the proper way how we need to have our body movement body language is reflected through this so this is it another part will be continued in the next class thank you so much